That now, Professor Mahmoud Yakub, the chairman of INEC, for the special meeting when INEC get with where they, where people where they call stakeholders. That is those when we say when it come to this election matter. Now them the matter concern pass, but we don't talk and say if you talk of stakeholders. Now the Nigerian people when they come out, they voting those when they want. May they drive the motor of this country, go the permanent site, now then be the stakeholders. With the inside studio, it's good to go there, could be. With your gold store, when I talk for the introduction, they ain't know they work anyhow. But any day when you work out, rain must fall. And even if you be poor man, you must keep goat to take blue pepper soup for that, because it be August visitor, even though with the month of uh, February, and they talk of the AAC presidential candidate, Oga Omoyele Showere. Welcome to Asi the Hot. Thank you. Thanks, Stephen. I bring me back for Asi the Hot. I don't miss this place. Mm, so. We too don't miss you. Now you get this handshake. <laughs> yes. Make you not come be like, say, uh, we, we too be friends like that. Yes. But the reason why we shake your hand and say, the way they ask questions, we they ask them, the only question will take day. But we also talk to me and say, eh, Best one say we don't tell you now, say we they follow the law. Mm. Uh, I neck, uh, according to the chairman, in been talk, say campaign, they don't stop them. Even though some political parties don't come and talk, say, if we go by waiting there, our law, uh, if you go by the rule, say, now midnight on the day before, now then they stop. Why you can't stop and since now you postpone them? But we too also get NBC people. <laughs> then they watch us. That is show the hot pass. Then they watch us. We know that they watch us, but we go all work out anyhow. Now why we go talk, say, uh, you get where we go take use our tongue, count our teeth, and we no go talk anyhow. Now, first, make I ask you, uh, we see videos of, say, you don't go back to your hometown, yeah. and people come out in their numbers uh, to welcome you. That's right. uh, just like how Baba Buhari, Alaji Atikwabaka, and other people, they go back to their hometown. But people still they awake, they reach... Uh, that early morning. But before that morning, some news houses don't already publish and say, now nah, like this, the thing go be. But based on say we, now nah, facts and evidence, mm -hmm. we they work with the same weight. Around 2.44, uh, when we see the breaking news, can't see the Baba, the announcer, people can't look, say, waiting exactly they happen. But make I take your mind, go back to 2007. Since the return to democratic rule, mm -hmm. uh, we do election 1999, we do election 2003. For 2007, there have been talks, say, somehow, the thing was supposed to come from South Africa, no come quick. For 2011, I remember people when they talk, say, uh, the governor of Lagos State then, Babatun Raj Fashala, he don't even come line up for a polling unit. Why we were there for any good at time when I did school? Mm. We've been the wait. 2015, we hear of, say, the NSA have been go argue for Chatham House, mm. say, for security reasons. And he get the one go take down. Now, 2019, it be like, say, somehow, somehow, uh, monkey hand must always enter inside this pot of super. I would like to ask you, what will be your first reaction when you hear, say, the 2019 election, presidential and national assembly, they don't postpone them from 16th to 23rd of February? In fact, <clears throat> me, I have not talk for one show, say, I know since I say that they prepared to hold election the day. Ah, hold mm. election. Like Nostradamus, also. Now, I, and for that day, before anybody talk, I'm ele around 11 p.m., now me first break the news. Do I for Facebook Live, say they don't cancel election. Of course, people begin to abuse me or say, you know, I have to get this news. But they forget, say, apart from say, I'm a presidential candidate, now this kind of news where they do for Sahara reporters before. So my sources, where they inside sources, for other sources, mm. outside of the sources, mm. you know, they tell me, say, this election, they don't postpone them. Now we begin to announce. Now we begin to announce. I begin, if people really follow me for Facebook, they don't go to surprise. Me, I know they surprised. Nigeria and our country of incompetence. And all that influences they left the rent, uh, center, we say, they know, so they don't look at the polls, look at the numbers, say the thing, no, the arithmetic, no, they tight. Then they go influence the team because discover, say, before the postponement, they don't burn down some INEC offices, still mm -hmm. INEC offices. And the day before postponement, they carry ballot papers, waiting for some state, carry and go wrong location. So, under any circumstance, the thing is not possible. But the thing when they want to be saying, and the same thing when they do for a show, when we say, they will just say, okay, we'll do the states when they're ready. Come later, do some five states when they're not ready. So, if they do that, they can't pull all their resources. You know. But on all of them, oh, the first party, APC, they get their own agenda. PDP, they get their own agenda. Your own party don't get agenda. Our own agenda now to defeat them. For the election? Yes, so. Now, now we didn't stand by that day. Our people don't ready. What if their own agenda too now to defeat too now? They're not now we say now the same agenda all of them again. Then if they, if they say the agenda for defeat us, we for no know their plans before everybody now. Now, we, now me first they talk and for Facebook Live. That night say they don't they don't postpone election. People but not believe not that. Not that three so hours. Make, make I ask you, if one party agenda and the other party agenda, 
based on the result when two of them they find no they the same how you be say this one agenda nato and this one agenda nato you okay, know what so i think make, make, make i explain to you pdp for example they no say election you know hold they no release money to for bribery there are people with they, they complain say money that's one side apc agenda now to make sure say if election go hold they go get room for you know what they call regal room Say they go home for some places, give them some rooms. If you know their number, not complete for this side, they will take the extended time for the election, take march and up as they do for show state. Mm -hmm. Now, the agenda be that so everybody gets their own agenda, but the agenda we, we get now, the agenda for the Nigerian people, we know what we do, we go do an app for Android where we say everybody they download you there for uh, polling booth that day, you will capture what they happen. That one's gonna scare them too. Now, app, we won't take finish them because I own app. They call them AAC, take it back app. You just download them for your Android. No day for iOS. That is um, this one, what they call uh, iOS. iOS is now iPhone. Mm -hmm. You know, they, but you did for Android. Most people they carry Android for. Now, we don't, they say we don't, that day, now we release our own app, which is like an eyewitness. As mm -hmm. they enter the place like this, you could capture results. If anybody did do something stupid, you could capture them. And we we get drones for some places where we say go they fly over. If anybody they carry ballot papers, ballot boxes, or they do see and buy, we go to capture them, put them live. They know all those things say the kind of digital response we will get self, no they good for them. And mm. no talking about the way when uh, we take react to them. Uh, for the APC caucus meeting when they do today, yes. President Mohamed Buhari also react to the action. What we go do now? Uh, now to play that video. Of uh, President Mohamed Buhari, as he take react from what he didn't talk, he did very clear say uh, him and his party they prepared for the election and they get confidence. Say with the way they don't go around the 36 states of the Federation and the Federal Capital Territory, they don't see millions of Nigerians when come and talk. Say we believe what you don't do, we they support you according to what he talk. Oh, yeah. make una watch him, make una hear what President Mohamed Buhari take talk as they concern in reaction to the postponement of the election. I told them that I reckon all the time and all the resources they had, they wanted, they didn't have to wait for only six hours to cast in the boats to tell us that it was impossible. Definitely, the reasons uh, why such incompetence manifests itself uh, has to be explained to the nation. After the election, we have to know exactly what happened. <laughs> Otherwise, our efforts, you know, to make sure that this system we voluntarily accept uh, is not making progress. What is the use if we will accept incompetence? The Constitution and the laws protected INEC, but they must not uh, take us for granted. If, for example, the National Assembly refused to approve what INEC wanted, then INEC could have uh, some moral reason why they couldn't perform. If the time, constitutionally, of election four years after was not uh, obeyed by the government and the system, INEC could have a case. But we do not understand why this inefficiency. And we have to go into details after the election to find out who is responsible. I think this much I, I, I will say. Uh, now, welcome. Uh, what you now hear now? Now, the statement where President Mohamed Buhari being mm -hmm. talked today uh, for the APC caucus meeting as he consigned the postponement. From what he don't talk, he don't talk. Say, I never get everything when they want. If to say they've been delayed on their part as government mm -hmm. and also the National Assembly, they go get excuse. But even in January, they mean they talk, say, then they're very confident. And this date, now, date they don't know since 2016. In con, they talk, say, after election, we go sit down and discuss this matter and flog the person who will go flog, or also give gold medal to the person who will supposed to give gold medal to. Oh. Uh, before Nkubi go take over, mm. make I ask you, what will be your reaction to the talk when uh, President Mohamed Bouhari talk about the postponement? I like one thing when he talk. He say, after election, they go ask why are they incompetent? You know, you talk about incompetence. Mm -hmm. And we, 
we go ask President Buhari and flog him for his own incompetence in the last four years. So now you say the man understand the meaning of incompetence. I beg. You see them and they jittery because they know say people they plan inside themselves to go in a different direction for this country. If they they confident, the one we are not playing, the one we are assuming they shoot on side. I mean, aside. No, we go still play that one. That one. That one. Now, license to kill, jungle justice. A president of a country must not encourage extrajudicial killing. Because now he put us for inside Boko Haram. Now he go put us now for inside the Shiites. I said, you know, extrajudicial killing, burying people in mass graves. If you go and do that one on election day now, where police take that line, already our policemen and security agencies, they trigger happy. Go kill people. And maybe that talk when you talk, in a, maybe now your interpretation. Mm. No. Because if you talk, say, person will come out on election day, when one we stop the people from doing what they're supposed exactly. to do. If you talk, say, the person go pay the mm. price. He say he go pay with his life. And with you the, know, that one uh, extrajudicial statement and jungle justice is not the job of, if anybody carry ballot paper, security agencies go arrest them. We will carry and go prosecution. Mm. But the moment you kill the person, you deny the person of opportunity to get Judicial justice. But person will carry ballot paper too, if he carry some kind of things too. And to, they, to carry the ballot paper, if he, then, if he use force, and the you, security person go gas protect the Nigerians when they come out then, to vote. And then they carry ballot papers, and then they carry ballot boxes now. You see them for a shoe now. Mm -hmm. You see them for a kitty now. Now security agents, where they work for them, they do them. That one are just to scare people and to scare our neck people. That is brazen interference. Not only Buhari, uh, President Buhari talking, even on Shio Mole. Come do and do and so that they mention name of Mike Guinea, who be electoral commissioner for Akwai Bon. That is that is interference. That is intimidation. It's not acceptable under any circumstance. Mm -hmm. Say you make they make they taunt people where they do election, especially you know they have families. They you know they, you know you are using state machinery. You are using mm -hmm. incumbency power to the intimidate people. It's not that. And I think I hope that Nigerians have rejected, and that's why. Uh, they are Jagabab for Lagos. They deny them. They try to put, uh, you know, sweet around the mm -hmm. statement. You know, we saying I saw the president talk because they know say when the man get microphone without script, mm -hmm. they talk things we know we know good for them. But, but still looking at um, the present reality, um, if you look at um, what don't play out now, you go see say uh, people go talk say a lot of people don't come and condemn the fact say I neck no they credible enough to at least them. Um, Hold on to their own talk of, um, you know, um, ensuring, say, this particular election, say, you hold this past Saturday. But I neck on that part, they also come and give reasons why um, this election no fee hold. As a result of, okay, they all make sure, say, everything they in place properly. Mm -hmm. And look now also the reaction of um, the president himself. The president also talks, look, I neck, we give now everything. You understand? If we look at these two statements, at least everybody will talk, say, I get my own point, I get my own point. But let me go look ahead. Look at this particular um, Saturday where they call where they won't hold this presidential election. Say you feel say you get this confidence, say I neck, I neck if it conduct this particular election at least um, in this in, in one weeks to come. I don't talk them from day one. If now they watch me well, well say the job of I neck not to rig election for the ruling party. That is the primary job of I neck. But you know, but what if they talk if that what happened for 2015? Exactly. No. 2015 was you, not credible. You, you think say na na Enek make 2015 credible? Not be Enek. Now people like us will sit down for here. If to say that 10 state results no come out for Sahara reporters, we make Orubebe lose his mind. They talk say, you know, where do you get this result? Therefore, Regan overnight. But shouldn't also see that same competence. Um, we also feel here because if we also feel recall, nah, the, the last election, the last nah, election, yes. at least there was also a case of say they postponed. Yes, now. Uh -huh. So in the same way, say, I know they work for INEC. I know if we give mm. you guarantees, say INEC will even do the election on Saturday. We just they wait, based on because still they go rely on agencies, security agencies, we government they control. They rely mm. on weather. They, they rely on NAMA. They don't get their own equipment. The mm. problem is, say, I don't no get the kind of uh, independence. What if you make someone like me put hand for chest for here, say, I don't feed do. Even if you carry the best pers person into that place now, mm -hmm. now, President, they appoint I don't chairman. Mm -hmm. Now, they appoint uh, the mm -hmm. state commissioners, mm -hmm. federal commissioners. And don't forget, say, under Yaradua, mm -hmm. the set up committee, after they discover, say, the election, what they do now, fraud. Mm -hmm. They know implement the outcome of the committee. Under Jonathan, 
because of the problems with it, they set up another committee. Even under Buhari, they set up committee. One of the recommendations of committee where President Buhari set up, I think Unna Man, he will be former Senate President, Unna Man, he will be the chairman of that committee. Now, to the advertised position of INEC officers publicly, so that you could get the best, they could go through interview, go through background check. But as long as you leave them in the hands of the president or the select, anybody will select, the person to blame for what INEC to do now, now the person will hire INEC chairman. Who hire him? Now, President Buhari. Okay, but if you hire him and give him money to when he need, you will still blame him for him. If you hire, if you hire Brickler, you give him everything where he need. If you know they competent, not they competent. Okay, now, you they go blame if house collapse. Mm. You know, if the house collapse, not on top of your head, where it will collapse. Okay, let me ask you this one because I'm going by what they talk now. You at least I ask you about INEC. You can't talk to maybe somehow, somehow, take from your home and say uh, they do always uh, probably sit or favor. The people the ruling party now. Okay, but earlier we'll be asked you say, okay, we think be that confident where you get we who at least we will give you guarantee, say this election say you go fit um uh, you know go we well. Know, and yeah. you talk to yes, I say you get confident, say at least um, you go also feel carry the day. Take notice of somehow some this is no me, my own confidence no derived from my neck. Okay. It's derived from the people. It the derived people. on the technology way we put in place, it mm. derived on the commitment of the people. Mm -hmm. If the Nigerian people no want made a rig election, mm. uh, it no fit happen. Now, complacent citizens, citizens, right? they cause where government they misbehave. If today Nigerians say they won't change government, all the Nigerian forces not be stop the people of this country. Mm. Even China and I, I get the biggest military. And I never hear about Tiananmen Square, where people come out one day say they don't tire for this nonsense. Revolution will happen. All the soldiers, police, everybody go run with all their guns. So we are relying on the people, not be safe. We don't, that's why we know they waste our time to go to any of these INEC uh, stakeholders. They say. Mm. We the same people go there. Mm. But our own, we rely on the streets, we rely on our people. Say time, don't reach for change. And this one for us, now revolution, because now our life, now they are stake, now our future, now they are stake. Mm. And the thing where we they talk about be that. Not be saying, make I go, they waste my time, they hold meetings with INEC. When I need the street to mobilize young people, May they be ready. If they're ready that day, they vote. Maybe we can cancel the vote. Now, may we see. Now, may we talk about one very important thing. Because at the end of the day, and then they talk, say, uh, uh, say for democracy, yeah. now everybody go participate inside. Yeah. Yeah. The majority will have their way. The minority will have their say. say yes. But uh, some politicians, maybe because they won't win by force, mm -hmm. and they won't day for government, whether anybody like them or not, go do certain things. Now, President Mohamed Buhari, uh, as commander-in-chief of the armed forces, and uh, if we go look at the first, uh, the chief security officer of Nigeria, don't talk something when they're very, very important. Mm -hmm. Some people don't react. PDP don't issue statements. They talk, say, hey, that talk strong. And if you now follow us from the beginning, we go down here and say, I will go and get a visit or two. Also, you know, when you take talk, you talk about that. But we will play the video, make you watch, because we they talk, say, on top of us, they hot. Everybody, like, you not talk, the street, get, get, the get chance to hear. And we they talk, say, make we judge the matter by ourselves. No allow waiting one person talk, can't confuse you. Uh, just watch President Mohamed Buhari talk, as he take concern those when we say they go one come out on election day to cause Wala by snatching ballot box and other uh, small, small kasala if it happen on that day. Make you hear Briefs, the law enforcement agencies and the military, they have identified uh, hotspots, flashpoints. They should be prepared to move. They too, we have made uh, as much arrangement as possible and uh, resourceful providers as much as the country can afford it. And that um, anybody who decides to snatch boxes or lead thugs to disturb it, maybe there's the last uh, a local uh, action you will take. I really give the military and the police <laughs> the ruthless. We are not going to be blamed that we want to rig an election. I want Nigerians to be respected. Let them vote whoever they want across the parties. <laughs> I'm, not afraid, I'm not afraid of that. I am going to, as you said, the whole 36 state and Abuja, I went round. I think I have got enough supporters across the country. <laughs> so I am going to warn anybody who thinks he has enough influence in his locality to lead a body of facts to snatch boxes or to disturb the voting system. He will do it at the expense of his own life. Thank you very much. <laughs> When I don't hear what President Mohamed Buhari talk, as he take concern those who will come cause begay, and you hear him when he talk, say, 
in go like make Nigerians come out and vote any candidate mm -hmm. of their choice. Mm -hmm. You say follow for this particular okay. uh, uh, this thing when you talk. Right, so you not think saying that the right thing for the president to look say those will won't come cause trouble. If you don't talk, say you won't make Nigerians come out and exercise their right. And of that president don't talk and say he believe say with everything when he don't do, he they ready. You you believe say you they ready. Other candidates they ready. Make Nigerians come out and vote for who they want. Yeah. You not think say that thing when he talk. They write as they consign those when one spoil this process and it's in they're capable of resulting in the breakdown of law and order and causing confusion. I no believe say president supposed to encourage jungle justice. Jungle justice be say make you give soldiers blanket rights to just shoot people indiscriminately. People will carry ballot box. What what if he be say not ballot box he carry? <laughs> exactly. But in this specific, you say ballot, ballot box. Boxes. No, 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 no. Ballot box different from it, basket. That's yeah. the reason why we say soldiers, I mean, police, they arrest people first. So that they go feed do investigation, conduct a trial. And they tell you, say, why you know here the president talks, say, man, they shoot every full and headsman. Because he believes it not be every headsman, they carry gun. I mean, according to his own positions. Why we say, you say, okay, we want to establish grazing rules for them. When people they talk say Fulani yes, men they give us problem, Fulani yes, men they give us problem. Oh. You not give this kind of order. You not give that kind of order for Zamfara too, for the bandits where they keep people. But when it's their own personal interest, they just give blanket order to go and kill people. What I'm saying is that Nigeria's human rights record is bad enough. Now it put us for the security challenges where we get now. Now our bad human rights attitude, now cause some. And the man they show say that 1983 mentality never come up for anybody. Well, you can't come now, call yourself, say, you are, you, you are playing with your life. No. But, but what if the security agencies mm. come misinter misuse them as they always misuse those kind of order, begin mm. killing innocent people, but, but, including people who may be even members of their own party? But in as much as you know the That's why I don't so, I know that I cannot yeah, support as, a blanket as, position on, you know, clamping down on people to the extent that you have that they should be shot at sight. In as much as you know, they encourage this particular thing. Of course, a lot of a few Nigerians, a few Nigerians out there go talk to you, yeah. say the statement they bad. We have seen elections in the past yeah. where we say people will come into a particular place, snatch by ballot boxes, run come out. We never probably, we never for once see bring person to book. Say okay, see we don't capture this person. And that one, as as stated, now the responsibility of the law enforcement agents, the police. Mm -hmm. If the police till date never see present somebody. Say now these people now they they behind this particular snatching of this box for this particular state or this particular location. Say no also to say maybe somehow somehow for us to also probably tilt towards ensuring say people learn. Anybody who won't carry such action because we don't also see cases where say in the process of carrying snatching boxes people they die. She don't also say maybe an action where we say we go make people look say no okay we really have to at least take small step back make we learn from this one. There is no replacement for human life. If you kill somebody, if you bring them back, Not and you can't find out, say, the person where you kill, the wrong person, or you won't shoot one person, you go meet, meet another Stray person. Bullet. Stray bullet. day all over the place. Or you won't shoot one person, penetrate the person, kill another person, because don't forget, say, people, they line up. Mm. In fact, we should have a rule where people are not allowed, security agencies are not allowed to carry guns. And there was a time it was, it was discussed that they should not carry guns too close to the to the polling units, mm -hmm. so we cannot replace the you know the rule of law with the rule of thumb mm -hmm. or jungle justice, which is, which is what that's why the national leader of their party has been trying very hard to change what the man talk. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, Bola Tinubu senator. I met Bola Tinubu say no be so talk because the international media that were present at the venue took him up immediately. That how can you? Be behaving like this in 2019. Mm. How can you be asking that people should will pay with their lives just because there's, you know, a suspicion that mm. they're searching ballot uh, boxes? But let me tell you also that over time Nigeria's electoral process has evolved. Ballot snatching is not even, not even you not know, be even mm, the problem. It's not even the world in any way. What we go do? We say we go look <laughs> the number. We go look the figures yes. of those when we say don't register to vote. And the interesting figure say 15 million plus people yes. uh, they don't register to vote for the first time yes. for their life for this country. Children of uh, democracy. Children of democracy. Who now you they call them? Oh, yes. God, this break. Come back. When we come back, we'll continue this discussion based on acid hot. <laughs> Well,
Welcome back to our city hall. Let's go to the Anukubida inside studio with our Ogbonge visitor, the presidential candidate of AAC, Oga Omoyele Showere. We've been telling her from the beginning, say, this one not be campaign. No. We say, we, they follow law. Even though some political parties don't say, no lie. They go do anything when they like. But hey, <laughs> if we, they can't, we, they can't walk over, they walk end of the month. Now, it's your guy give us, now we, they collect. We go do it. In. The person went past Oga, say, make we do. Now, why would they maintain our telephone lines? We hear say the thing don't ring now, the thing don't fall. People won't talk, but we go back now. So that we don't go talk to all we say tomorrow now, and I know not come see us for here. And we understand how these things take day. But we go discuss the matter, make everybody understand. Uh, make we talk about the children of democracy yes. as we take talk. Yes. Uh, if we check the breakdown, 84 million plus voters, 15 million plus for the first time. First, I would like to ask you, uh, what is your reaction to the ginger? For 2015, we get 69 million. Mm -hmm. For 2019, just four years, we get 84 million. Mm -hmm. How you go take react to the ginger when make plenty of people look say this is my country, yo. I won't contribute to the development. You think so that's something when they're encouraging? There is I go answer them this way. There is a songwriter, author, a philosopher in Argentina. Hmm? One day he can write one quotation. He said that his father is a brave man, but that his father is afraid of idiots. Hmm. They go and say, ask the father, say, why are you afraid of idiots? He said, there are too many of them. Mm. They might elect the president. Mm. That is Fekonda Cabra from Argentina. Now, the thing will cause a lot of people to go register to vote with that. You know, for this Ekoi, Victoria Land, and Lekki area, there are two million people with rich age of voting, they know they vote because they are not concerned about Nigeria. Two million. Yes. Middle class people, bankers, mm -hmm. you know, doctors, they lawyers. Get they live for life. Yes. Mm -hmm. If election they come like that, they don't enter play, disappear. They can't reach London. They are say, she violence not deal. Mm. But when they come back, they will discover say the idiots where they live behind don't elect governor, give them. They don't elect local government, give them. Mm. They don't elect president, give them. That won't push a lot of people to go and register to vote. So we see more middle class people. Then there are people who are, we call children of democracy. They were born in 1999. By 2019, they had turned 20 years old. They've reached 18 years mm. plus. Mm. And they have looked at this and say, look, this country that we are in is not serving our purpose. If we don't get involved, we are going to be left behind. All the, the candidates are in their 70s. We, we are in our 20s, there's disconnect. Let's vote. There's also the role of diaspora Nigerians. Mm -hmm. We don't see good things for abroad. And those ones, they send money. They send steady. money every time. Family will call them money night and day. Discover, say, if they not push their families meetings, they better. No matter how well they do for their, their life, not be they happy. Depression, mm -hmm. the setting. Those ones also push. Some of them even come home. Mm -hmm. Some of them are supporters who came home, bought tickets, registered, they go back, bought tickets again to come back now to come vote. They cancel the election, uh, the day, they postpone the date. It means that some of them have to reschedule. Some, as I mm -hmm. speak now, some of them, they for airport, they talk with airlines to extend, or some of them, when office day, they don't go back. So the third and final group, we swell the numbers. Now people, we, they affected by the violence that happened under Buhari, especially, you know, most of them are Christians. Make I just tell now the truth. We feel say they don't get chance under this government for, I mean, security. Look and say they're not be continuing like this. And those are mostly Northern Christians in Taraba, in Benue, in Southern Kaduna, and down Plus to plateau. yes, mm -hmm. plateau. They don't they, they, they register. Some Muslims too, Shiites. Shiites usually know they vote, they know they participate in political activities. They also register. There are about 10 million Shiites in Nigeria. Now where where you see the numbers with that? And those 15 million people where you see. I mean, set of people where they talk of punishment votes. Punishment votes? Oh, yes. Those ones, they carry Koboko they, come on election actually, day. They are, they are PVC in Koboko. Mm. That, the reason they register to vote, not to punish the leaders so that they can dig themselves out of Problems. the political, uh, social political condition when mm. Nigeria did. So, now those ones, now make not the fear. Because nobody in this country has ever won election with more than 15 million votes. If you have 15 million angry voters out there, who are fresh, you might be in trouble. You realize that for the first time, now students be the highest number of voters. Uh, but, but, but may I ask you, for yeah. 2007, yeah. Uh, even though Ogaya Radu have been come out to talk, say, 
that election. He get when it he take the uh, yeah, uh, twenty four no. million votes. Two thousand and seven election. No, how no be election. You know there was no election. Let me explain to you. Nami, Nami, I covered that election. I, I just start Sahara that time. Two thousand and sixteen. I get the result of the election before election day. Who write and who give them to you? <laughs> I publish them now. I collect. No one of them call me. Say they get audacity to call me. Say look, this result now be this. Publish them. Whether you like. By then they announce the results. It's still there online. It's just the little percentage different from the one where I publish. Somebody just add one or two they things. They just add a few things because they say I don't publish them. We know what they do that year. The ballot papers, when they print, no comment. They can't go print ballot papers. We don't get serial numbers. So there's no way on earth anybody can decide whether those ballot papers came from anywhere. They just print ballot papers. No serial number, no security features. They just throw them out there. Because the results are already ready. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the good thing, why would they talk about this one? Because of, say, uh, we don't see improvement and things don't do better. And like I talk, the president at that time, the late Yaradu, have been confessed. He confessed. Uh, now. He asked for forgiveness, mm -hmm. say, go do and well. But I look one figure here now. Out of the 84 million voters, with this 50, 15 million plus, where you say, uh, now, nah, child of uh, children of democracy, yes. we get eight people, people when they're between 18 and 35 years old. Mm -hmm. Now, nah, they make up 51 points. 1-1% one, one of the 100%, if you check the total, and this number now, 42 million, 938 million, uh, thousand, 458, I think I'm again, no be like, I make mistake, 42 million, mm -hmm. 938,458. Now, if you check this number, between 18 and 35, if you go by the average life expectancy, okay. normally, my papa is supposed mm -hmm. first me die. Yeah. He ain't go to pray, say, yeah. make him first me die. Uh, these people now, the people who go live for the future yes. of this our country, a yes. uh, future of maybe light no day, uh, insecurity, mm -hmm. road no good, schools no make sense, our healthcare this one how. What do you think say be the importance of these people as they take consign 2019 election and building a future for Nigeria moving forward? This is a class of voters that need to create the disconnect. Now them so now, now them go do the disconnect of the umbilical cord. From the oppressive, outdated, you know, class, incompetent class, the corrupt class of older people with old, you know, antiquated ideas. Now then we see so. Now them are the tell you see be children of, uh, you know, the, the demo some of them are children of democracy. Mm -hmm. Some of them are children of anger, you know. So some of them are just doing it out of anger. Some of them because they have reached that stage of adult suffrage. For the country, so now these people now go determine. Now, now the thing where they talk say there's a secret pool of voters out there where you no go see for rally, you know. They know they follow you argue for Twitter. They know they for Facebook, but they don't make up their mind say mm -hmm. for this election now we go push the election. That's why some surprises go there for this election. And now the numbers where you they calculate for there the mid you know the pie chart as they call them for statistics. Mm. Now they now they scare. Our people, you mean our people for APC, APDP for all of that, because you know, two categories of people. Now I make them the talk, say, don't waste your vote, don't waste your vote. But there's something where they call bias remorse, right? When we say you take a decision to buy two things and discover that the two things where you buy are mm. bad things, you come to blame yourself, say, why you, you even go buy, why you go buy thing, the yeah. thing in the first place? So they are in the bias remorse category. They don't already know, say, if you vote for APC, you go regret, you vote for PDP, you go regret. They are looking for alternative, and not there where we they draw our own strength, mm. and not there where we talk to say this country, as of this Saturday, they hold election. No, me I no fit talk whether they hold election because like somebody they joke today say if you put your wedding for a Saturday now, they mm -hmm. waste your time mm -hmm. because yes. now I get all the Saturdays mm -hmm. from now to mm -hmm. eternity. They mm -hmm. fit postpone the election enter mm -hmm. anyway. That one a joke, but now these people. And then get the key to the future where we talk about. And then go unlock the future where we talk mm -hmm. about. And it's a matter of, you know, taking a decision, mm -hmm. right? There's something where they call cognitive dissonance. You understand? Where we say you go, no, say something bad. You can't go do it. It's just like me, they say smoking is bad. You do it, you can't they discover later, say it will give you cancer. So may they pull themselves out of cognitive, because a lot of them are also sitting in that range of cognitive uh, dissonance. So they know this is not bad, but maybe the alternative, nothing win. Or if I waste my vote. The only way you can waste your vote in this election is to vote for people where you know say will disappoint you. And these two other parties have nothing else to offer you than disappointment. Mm. They'll be Amaka.
Brother. Mm. <laughs> I, know, I, I don't know whether we could go into um, this particular one, um, but um, at least now still some twists did they bother around them. Um, the issue of um, um, elections and um, somehow, somehow, um, before the election, this one happened for Car um, Cardinal State and um, mm. um, the Kajuru situation <coughs> where the news don't go around uh, with the hearsay and uh, not be true. But it's been confirmed here um, about 66 people mm. and um, out of this is still over 20, nine be children. Looking at this particular um, reality, we don't happen and the country, the fact that at least now before election period. Yeah. Um, in as much as we know, say security personnel or security, I think it's supposed they vi uh, viable everywhere. And this thing they happen. How we also feel ensure say, at least that we need situations in the bus so that people, Nigerians generally, will feel they protected. Even when we know say we get a very important mm. situation, we say, okay, we go even draw the attention of everybody. But still, not living in mind, say, okay, we still have our citizens to protect them. How they can we also at least in this but to make sure say. Everybody, no matter the situation, stay and they um you know be the thing where they talk about waiting President Buhari, they talk with that. Somebody will be commander in chief. We're supposed to protect every Nigerian where then they sixty six people die before election day. You know hand over the people, we kill them, you know apprehend them. We know hear any news. You come the talk made people we snatch election uh, ballot paper uh, boxes, maybe mm -hmm. they kill them at sight. You know, that's why you see the hypocrisy, we make people they doubt when they make pronouncements like that, say, we think be their real intention. Because now for them, where you're supposed to hear president, they blow hot and cold, you no know, blow or not be cold. Say, the 66 people in the way kill, when they kill, I have been able to fish out the people we kill them from, from Kajuru. But you know, the, if we don't even hear from the president about a bit, the, those ones, their life not more important than ballot boxes. Mm. Mm. That is where you see when Nigerians, they hear these things, Nigerians get sense now, they know the game, whether they play. So they don't care about people. They care about winning an election for themselves and their cabal. You know, otherwise, how 66 person could die for one place? The president don't even issue statement. He no issue condolences. But if they give shoot aside order for people where they snatch ballot papers, which one is more important? Is it people snatching lives in Kaduna, in Zamfara, in uh, Benue, and other places, or the people where we they suspect they feed snatch ballot boxes? Which one is more important? This. Is it lives or ballot boxes? That is that's that's where you when you they hear from us and the analysis they tell you say we they psychoanalyze these people, discover say they're not getting interest for you and I. They're interested in retaining power and using it to feather their own nest and those of their friends, families, and cronies. That's what they're about. And Nigerians must reject this totally. <laughs> Our people waiting for us soon. I don't hear waiting uh, the presidential candidate of AAC. Oga Omoye Lesha or Rege to talk as he take concern. How the matter be for inside Nigeria political boxing ring? Una go remember say from the beginning of the show and during the show we been they tell Una say uh, based on say I neko the last thing when the Oga talk even though they they meeting now to review Una say no campaigns. Now why the talk no go in the direction of what thing you go do, what thing Una go do, what thing Una fi do? We just getting reaction to the postponement and some other things when we say the trend today. With the beguna say Nigeria and our country no go spoil. Make we join our hand together to move this our country go the permanent side. God don't bless us with people who get sense. Bless us with resources. This country, if you check off for Bible, it just be like the land of milk and honey. We're not supposed they suffer. We the Nigerian people supposed put our hand inside anything. We go make this country work. And one way now to come out on election day to vote. Some people don't come and talk, say, eh, this postponement, I've been travel. Ha, ah, shall I go travel again? Eh, this is a small, small sacrifice when we must make for our country. Mm -hmm. Just get that for your mind. Say, when your children, children go come in the future and then go check this 2019, they go look, say, eh, children of democracy, children of anger. Children wake up, look, say, them been the sing, we are the leaders of tomorrow. They sing them until they reach 70 years. Then rescue this country. One final word before we One go final back. word, say, as you talk, mm -hmm. just now say, now people will get sense for Nigeria, they don't get power. People will not get sense, now them get power. It is time for Nigerians to put people will get sense for power, mm. so that power will fit get sense. Mm. Mm. Well, um, now don't hear everything we don't talk about. Um, we go now here, we go close our own shop, and then um, tomorrow we know so we'll come back. Something now with them, any latest development on what they happen for Bodo Nigeria. So till tomorrow we'll come again. Now bye bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. What's my material? I see the horse.
to enjoy more of these our Ogonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.